We saw before that the AAA, the AA, the C, and the D cells are all the same voltage because they're all made out of the same materials. They're all one and a half volts. But that doesn't mean that every battery we have is going to be one and a half volts. This battery is a six volt battery. It's called a lantern battery because it fit in the flashlights that you would hold like this. A lantern battery, it's approximately six volts. So how do we get six volts out of one and a half volt cells? The minimum number of cells we would need would be four. If we had four cells in series, we would get one and a half volts. But we could also have eight cells where we have two rows of four. So we have that combination arrangement with a branch of four cells for six volts and another branch in parallel with it for six volts. We could even have 12 cells. So the minimum number of cells to get six volts is four, but we could have four, eight, 12, 16, even 20. So what do you suppose is inside of here? Well, the only way to find out is to cut it open. So the first one I ever cut open was this old Everready. And when I cut it open, I found that there were four cells inside of it. But they're all extra tall. So instead of a D cell, it's one and a half times as tall as a D cell. So there were four cells and they were connected in parallel where we would have the positive of one connected to the negative of another and the positive of the other connected to the negative of another. So I decided to cut open one of these Duracells and I was surprised when I got it open that I cut it open and inside of it were simply four regular D cells with a cardboard spacer to take up the extra space. So inside of this is actually four D cells with a cardboard spacer. So that's how we get our six volts. Another common battery is this one. Here are three different brands. These are called transistor batteries, and they're approximately 9 volts apiece. So how do we get 9 volts out of 1.5 volt cells? Well, 1.5 times 6 is 9, so we have to have, at minimum, 6 cells inside of here. 6 cells in series, 1.5 volts apiece, would give us 9 volts. But we could have 12, or 18, or 24, but 6 is the minimum. So how do you think we get six cells inside of there? Well, the AAA, you couldn't get six of these inside of there, so that's too big. Obviously, the AA, the C, and the, and the um, D cells are too big. So the only way to find out what's inside of there is to cut them open. I cut open several different ones, and this one brand ends up having six cells that are rectangular and they're stacked on top of each other, piled up just like a voltaic pile. When I cut open the Duracell, I found that instead of having six cells piled up on top of each other, there are actually six small cells, smaller than the AAA, these would probably be uh, 4A or quadruple A, and they're connected together in series six of them. Here's what it looks like if you take the plastic wrapper off. They're like six sausage links connected together. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're in series to give us our nine volts total. Another common cell or battery is this one. This battery is found in uh, some of the multimeters and maybe a smoke detector. My um, garage door opener had this type. And even though it's small, this is actually 12 volts. This is a 12 volt battery. So how do you get 12 volts out of one and a half volt cells? Well, 
8 times 1 and a half is 12, so there has to be at least 8 1 and a half volt cells inside of here. So you can imagine how small they have to be and how they're arranged. When you cut one of these open, you find that inside of it are actually eight cells stacked on top of each other. They're all one and a half volts apiece, and these are the little round button cells that you might see in a watch battery or hearing aids or other small devices. So the voltage of a battery depends on how many cells are in it and how they're connected. So our dry cells are single cells, but these others are actually batteries. Today, most of you have rechargeable batteries in your cell phones and your other personal electronic devices, and rechargeable batteries don't always go with the multiples of one and a half. 